Start recording. Stop recording. Button. Hi, YouTube. I know what you guys are thinking. Would you just upload it in another video? I know that. But now, I'm doing a review. This one will be all spoken because I love that thing now. Um, this is a collector's item. Batmobile. I don't know where the heck. I don't know who the heck made this thing. But it's not movable. Check out the wheels. I got my hand on one of them now. It, no, it wasn't stuck. It was made that way. But any of you people that I know saw this thing, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yes. Batman, it's the 1960s Batmobile, of course. They made a full version. Mattel made a full version. And how do I know they did? Because of that. Guy, Pixel Dan. Hey, you would think that there are some old model cars that have, you know, metal and all that, but this guy does not have metal. Not, not whatsoever. It may look like it, but just looking at it and feeling it. Feel that? Feel that? Complete plastic and check out the Batman head. It's huge Man, it's about like a rectangle of prism or a cube They should call him cube man Because it looks like a giant cube with a, 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 a body with a cube on it Oh, and by the way This Batman doesn't look cool Check him out I got him off the, the mobile, and check out, the only articulation is the big giant head, guys. Look, Ugh. the arms don't move, it's like if it's uh, one found at a specialty store. The, the cape isn't even flexible. Okay, so, maybe it's all made of rubber and plastic, but still. Yeah, you can't even squeeze it in so hard. And anyway, I'm gonna put this on there, and after that, I'm gonna basically stop this video and up. Whoa. See you later.